we here on this channel have been changed by God, by the Spirit of God. And it's because He's shown us things in the Scriptures as they exist in a spiritual way. We understand them through a spiritual lens. There's the literal, and then there's the spiritual. And my wife and I were talking this morning about a particular story, a very famous story about the woman with the issue of blood. And when you look at what God did when He came here, he did amazing, amazing miracles. And virtually all of them were in the physical realm. Raising the dead, healing the sick, the lepers, the blind, the deaf. These were things he did. And he, he said he's going to do greater things because he goes and comes back in a different way. He said, now I'm with you, then I shall be in you. So now he's in us. And so it's really him doing it and... He's allowing us to do these things with him. That's what's so amazing about it. So a story like that, as amazing as it is, here's this woman who's going around from doctor to doctor all over, who knows, probably even going to potions and, and mysticism, whatever she can, because she's so desperate for like over 10 years trying to find healing, but she never finds healing. And then the Lord just does it. He does it right on the spot. And the thing I wanted to share with you today is, again, how I started out when I said the way my wife and I see the scriptures now in this other way, both ways, we see them in both ways, but they were a physical representation to illustrate the spiritual reality that he is now creating. Because the thing that our God has always been about is life. He creates life. But since the fall of Adam, we have all come into this world born spiritually dead. So he is here to make us alive to him, not just alive in the flesh, not just so he can raise us up and then die again, but to raise us eternally. So he's here doing that now. So the way I would see that or, or transfer that story of the woman with the issue of blood, where this, this sad story of her going from place to place, seeking the, the solution or the healing that she had, now you have it going on. Millions of people, millions of Christians going from doctor to doctor, or should I say priest to priest, building to building, denomination to denomination, their souls are bleeding, their souls are aching, they're, they're leaking out the pain and everything, the life force and everything that's, that's good in their life or that they want to be, have good in their life, the joy, the peace, the things that God said he wanted to give, not... Not the material things, not the things of the flesh, the, thing, the things of the substance. Those are things that seem to be just bleeding out of us. And so we don't find it here and we go there and, and it doesn't lead to any fulfillment. And we keep on bleeding and we go find another priest or another smart person or another person with this promise or that wisdom or the new secret thing. You know, If you're in Christianity, you know about all these things. There's the Daniel fast and there's the Jabez prayer and then there's a new book about this and a new book about that. There's always these things and we're running to and fro trying to find this thing that's going to stop the bleeding, that's going to stop the pain. And then you finally just do what she did. You just come to the answer, the only answer. You come to Jesus. And that's what happened to us. We came to the physician. We came to the priest. We came to our king. We came to the only one that can heal any of these things. And he heals all of them. When you come to him and that's what happened that's why we see that scripture in a different way it's beautiful it's wonderful on its face that this woman was physically healed and now he is here in us doing this to us and doing this through us to other people we know this is happening it may not be in the same way your church has a revival and a thousand people get baptized and nothing happens and they're just still chasing around for the next answer and it's all emptiness but it is so profound. It may only happen rarely, one person here or one person there, but it is real and it is substantial. And when one person repents, that is, and turns towards God, and we turn towards God, we turn from the fake doctors, the fake physicians, the fake priests. We turn from all of it, and He stopped the bleeding. He, he is the one who stopped it. He is the one who healed. He is the only one who can and whoever will. And now he is using us. 
and people are hearing him through us and he is creating new life through us now that he has made us alive he has staunched that bleeding in our lives and he will do it through us with many more and those are the greater things that he is doing and it's wonderful to be a part of that so we encourage you to look at scriptures as you read them through that lens and realize he's using a physical example to illustrate a spiritual reality that can be yours in this life right now not something you wait for in heaven right now it can be happening in your life and in the, the lives of those you know and have yet to meet through your trust in him the only one who can heal anything or anyone, that's Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.